while it might not feel like fall outside, but you can still do all of the fall things. Happening all month long, the 19th annual Pumpkin Festival. We've got Michael Moefu from Aloon Farms. Uh, thank you for being here. You came out here from Kapolei. Okay. Tell us about the 19th annual Pumpkin Festival. 19 years, huh? Yes, yes. A lot of tradition. Um, you know, prior to pumpkins and diversified crop, it was all sugar cane. So, um, yeah, a, a lot of people, family traditions come out for, for many years. We have 19 year olds that come out and say they've been there for every That's single birthday. Cool. So, um, yeah, outside of pumpkins, you have self picked corn, beans, sunflower, more than just a pumpkin festival. This is live entertainment, bringing the community together, um, partnering with a bunch of nonprofits to raise funds for a Hawaii Food Bank, National Kidney Foundation. And then we have a bunch of community schools that will help to sell lemonade and um, people volunteering on the hay rides. So well. fun, really cool. So it's not just a family friendly event, but you're also giving back to the community then. Yes. Yeah, uh, not a lot of people know, but during the weekdays, we have educational tours. So the big festival weekend is when we open our gates to 45,000 visitors. But on the weekdays, we do educational tours. And this year's theme is taro. So kids will be out at the farm getting their hands dirty. They'll be able I like to harvest that. <laughs> some pumpkins, work with some taro. And um, yeah, that's, that's kind of our big outreach and being able to um, get in front of our customers and let them know who we are, where their food is grown, and how to do it. And so you also partner with the food bank, you said. That's correct. Yeah, and uh, we're doing a canned food drive. So any donation received at the Pumpkin Festival will get you one of these uh, mini gourds. Okay, so these are the decoration ones. Yes, correct. Put on your like desk at school around the house. Definitely, yeah. So we have um, tiger stripes. We have these mini whites. Ooh, those we are have cool. these uh, cannonballs, cakey bees. And is this your typical like pumpkin carving one? Yep, those are jacks. Yeah. So you can. Pick out a jack-o'-lantern at the pumpkin festival? Straight from the vine. That's yes. pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, maybe just your experience at this festival, 19 years. What is it like seeing the kids come every year, grow up, and, and be a part of the fall experience? Yeah, you know, believe it or not, it, it's, it's a, it's a one-of-a-kind festival. Uh, you don't often get to go to a farm and pick your own fresh produce, cook it for dinner that same day. A lot of the kids are still assume maybe that produce grows in the aisles. So they're, <laughs> they're out at the farm, they get to know um, how fun it is and rewarding it is to harvest your own fruits and vegetables. Um, so a lot of them are surprised and then they come back every year with a different crop or, or different ideas to, to get their um, perfect pumpkin mm -hmm. harvest. Well, I'm in the fall mood officially, so thank you for wearing orange <laughs> yes. and black, get your Halloween shirt on, um, bringing in the pumpkins. Let's go over this because I want to show up. I know everyone watching probably wants to come. Where can they uh, get tickets if they need to? Where do they go? And when is the event open? Sure. Um, so it opens on the 12th, 13th, last three weekends of October. Um, and it's exit three. We're out in Kapolei. And any other information on our social media, Facebook, at Aloon Farms, um, www.aloonfarms.com. Sounds good. Sounds like it's going to be spooktacular. Thank you. Right? Yes, definitely. <laughs> Family fun. Yeah. All right. Back to you at the desk.